Okay, so now we've converted all of our JavaScript files to TypeScript files, but before we can continue and start bundling everything together and converting them to JavaScript, we need to deal with our dependent libraries. Now, currently, all of our dependent libraries we installed using Bower, using a Bower JSON file. Okay, so we installed Angular, Angular Ladder, all of our dependent libraries using Bower, and they installed them in the libs folder here, which is just, well, I configured with the Bower uh, RC file to install in the libs folder here. But if we want to process this properly, we need to convert um, our package management from Bower over to NPM, and then we can combine it all with our build process when we're building our TypeScript to JavaScript files. So that's what we're gonna do in this lecture right now, is we're gonna take all of our dependent modules and convert them from Bower into NPM. So let's just grab all of our dependencies from our Bower JSON like this. In fact, let's just grab the whole section there. I'm gonna go into package JSON, and it also has a section called dependencies. So let's just paste that one in there. So it should be formatted or structured exactly the same. Make sure you add a comma in at the end. Now notice we've got dev dependencies and dependencies. So dev dependencies are just the dependencies that you need in order to develop. You don't need this in order to release your application. Our dependencies here are our code that we actually need in order to run our application. So they go into dependencies there. Again. So now let's go through and make sure we can install all of these dependencies in our application using npm install. So let's open up the terminal. Let's get some space here. And we're just gonna run npm install. And I'm expecting to have a few errors which I'm going to fix as we go along. Okay, so we've got a couple of problems here. The first one is it's saying, well, we've got an invalid tag name. So this is not correct format for NPM. So the actual correct format is something like this. And let's change the version number to that. So now let's run it again. And we've got the same problem with UI router down there below. There we are. So instead of UI router here, in fact, in this one, let's call it Angular UI router. Let's keep it 0.42. Okay, now it's complaining about a version number for one of my packages, Angular Auto Validate. It can't find a version number 1.9.6, and that's because the NPM version doesn't have the same version number. So let's change that to zero, because I know that's available in NPM. And again, you're gonna have your own issues, you're gonna have to do your own investigations, but I just want to show you, it's not that hard. Um, you just need to kind of keep on running NPM install, figure out what's wrong, and go investigate. And the other one here, and you find this, this very, very common problem, which is that the, the naming convention is different. So it can't find ng infinite scroll. That's because it's using camel case. And actually, we use a uh, hyphenated case. So ng infinite uh, scroll. So that's what uh, npm uses. And hopefully, that should be it. Excellent. We're good. Now, all of those have been installed in our node modules folder here. So they're now all in our node module folder. So they're here, there we are, we see Angular here now, and we should see all of our other ones there as well. Okay, 